Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Arthur, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. Today, we are continuing the dungeon. So last time we had gotten ourselves a compass, we had gotten ourselves two small keys. And we took a lot of damage by skeletons. Because skeletons are very dangerous. Especially to my ego. Uh, there's an open door down here. Let's go ahead and see what that does. Unfortunately, that does nothing for me for right now. And that does nothing for me right now. So... Unfortunately, that door is basically off limits. Alright. I need to make sure I have the bow. Two... Three strikes goes. Alright. So, oh. two strikes now. There's a chest up here, which has the dungeon map. Alright. So we have two doors, left and right. I'm going to go ahead and take the left door first. Because I'm believing the... Ah. Alright, so this is a little bit of a... Sh oh! Sneaky hand, okay. Those usually pay really well in games, in Zelda games, so... I believe the name is specifically Ghost for usually as a wall master or something like that. Uh, I don't know why this doesn't have a fight in it. Okay! Hold on a sec. I kind of want the shield. In this fight. What? <laughs> that was brutal. Okay. So these green ones are not like the blue ones. The green ones just follow a set path. Going down here to the heart, and over here, there's nothing. And over here, there's nothing. So this is kind of odd, which leads me to believe that there might be something here. So I'm going to bomb, find us a secret wall. Which contains our dungeon item, the Mole Myths. Dig, dig to your heart's content. Well, don't mind if I do. The Mole Myths. Very first introduction was this game. They got reintroduced in Skyward Sword. They dig. You can dig not just these walls, but you can dig literally anywhere you want. As long as there's not a reason where they don't like, why they don't like you. Like, you can't dig up a mesh hut. You can't dig up, um... You, you really can't dig up stone. You, of course, can't dig up what you've already dug. You can't dig skulls. Alright. But as of that... We actually have some more stuff we can do. Because the lower path down here does require us to use the moments to get it. Get this treasure over here. Which is a kinstone piece, but hey, kinstone pieces are good. We need to go to this door up here. 
We don't have the boss key yet, but at the very least, we know it's here. And instead of just going back down the old-fashioned way, we're going to go down this way. And we're just going to leave that there like that. Because I'd rather come this way... Like this... Find this treasure chest right here. Alright, our first introduction to Wizrobe and these fires that decide to just burst fire at us. And they don't cease to burst fire after we kill the Wizrobe. Eight mystery shells in that. So that wasn't that great of a thing, but at the very least it wasn't that bad of a thing. So... You may wonder why I'm doing this, uh, if I do find something like what I'm hoping I'll find, I'll just, it'll definitely, I'll definitely be able to show you why I'm doing it. Of course I do know the reason I'm backtracking though. I do want to make sure I backtrack because I do want to get like these hidden treasure chests that have been hidden on the side this whole time. Because you never really know exactly what uh, use those things can have. Um, okay. Okay. Alright, um, there was no digging here, was there? I don't think so, so I'm just gonna drop down. And continue our little backtrack adventure. I already know there's nothing along the walls here. Okay. They're back, but not really gonna worry about them. Okay. Nothing there. Can some piece here? Nothing there. Kill this guy again. Nothing here. I'm getting followed again by one of these, so just hopelessly annihilate it. Uh, I don't remember if there's. Yes, there is. Okay. So, just double checking up here, just make sure there's nothing up here. I can some piece. And that's really it. There's nothing else worth digging for here. Alright. Just jump down here. And I can officially just leave. And while I can use the way back, I'm not going to. But either way, coming in here. Phew, we barely made it. I was certain we ran out of time. Uh. 
Alright, attacking one means that the rest just come after us. Can some piece right there. And Vanish Portal. Alright. Cut these skulls first, make sure they don't have anything useful in them. As we see a match portal, I'm going to go ahead and look forward and see what we have over here. Ah! That's really intriguing. That we would even need the mesh portal. Because you can get through this way as well. Alright, so. Immediately you probably already see. I want to start with this one. You can probably already see what we've got to do. The problem is going to just be doing it right. Make sure to get these uh, things in the right place. Uh oh. Didn't mean to do it this way. Okay. But it still works. And this is another small key. Sneak into this one right here and use the small key to open up this door. But you can see another small hole right there, but we can't really use that because we aren't small right now. However, we do know of where a small portal is. So knowing where that is, is half the battle. Because not only are we now going to have to get over there while small. Get a check at that. Now remember, those small holes are bottomless pits for Tiny Link. So we have to avoid those pits and get over here with Tiny Link. And now this is sort of a treasure room of sorts, I believe. Okay. There could be something here. I have no idea. Nope. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I trapped that one. this room here? Yeah. 
Is this just here to give me a fairy if I need one? This is literally just here to give me a fairy if I need one. Oh. Never mind. I should have pressed the button first. So anyway. Uh, let's see. Yeah, there's nothing in here. But we do only have one chest left. And then we'll be able to fight the final boss, which is really nice. So by shrinking now... We don't get to go downstairs. We have to jump down this. It's weird that we don't have to worry about the wall masters when tiny, but I assume that they didn't have the ability to put a mesh portal at the very beginning for some reason. So you can make this boss, this fight, these fights a little bit easier by just uh, cutting the opening and just like edge guarding. Double check that nothing spawned from that. Also double check that there's nothing up here. Alright, there's nothing up there. Good. Double check that there's nothing up here. Good. Okay. Alright. And uh, nope. and you'll see a skull so jump in one side of this do this thing all right so I jumped in the run right, on the right side you got the big key which is the boss key all right so now I believe this is the way to get back to the start again. Yep. And since we've already gotten to the boss door, it's just as easy as doing this to get back there. However, fighting the boss, we'll wait for next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Mesh Cap, we'll fight this boss, we'll get the next element, and we will work our way to gain to the final dungeon of the game. See you guys then.